Hi, we're Jack and Heather. We're busy professionals who wanted to escape the hustle and bustle of city life, so we bought a travel trailer. Since we both have regular 9 to 5 jobs, we're more like weekend warriors, spending the weekends camping and exploring with our fur kids, Spaz, Doodle, and Marley. We're both native Texans, so we started our adventures close to home with state and local parks and some small towns we've always wanted to visit. Click on the subscribe button so you can join us on our weekend adventures as we explore the Lone Star State. We recently spent the weekend at Lake Livingston State Park. It really was hot, but we've got a great video despite the heat. Lake Livingston is about an hour north of Houston, and it's one of the largest lakes in the state of Texas. It's located on the Trinity River and has lots of outdoor activities available for those who want to get out of the city. Fishing, hiking, swimming, boating, camping, birding, and so much more. Be sure to follow Lake Livingston State Park on Facebook. Ranger Joel often posts updates, program specials, live streams, and a lot more. All right, so we are spending the weekend at Lake Livingston State Park. Say hi. Hi. Lake's still there. <laughs> the lake is still here. It may be low because, you know, we have this wonderful drought in Texas and significant heat. Uh, there's not, it's not low? It's low. You think it's, we'll have to look that up and see if it's low or not. Seems like everything in Texas is low because we just haven't had any rain. So um, hopefully that's gonna, gonna change uh, but yeah it's a hot one this weekend and um, we'll show y'all around Lake Livingston State Park there are lots of great hiking trails around Lake Livingston State Park there were a couple of bridges out that haven't been repaired since the area experienced some flooding and we found one of those dead ends on our hike which you might see in this video we didn't go as far as we wanted because all of us were too hot, Marley included. Lake Livingston State Park has a great camp store that's right next to the lake. When we stopped by the park, the ranger was doing a talk on reptiles and fed one of the snakes in front of the audience. I'm not a snake fan, so I just listened from a distance. Don't miss the observation tower. We meant to come back when it was cooler so we could get a video from up top but decided we'd save that for our next trip when it's a little cooler. There are plenty of docks for your small watercraft. There are three boat ramps and you can rent double kayaks on site. There's lots of fishing spots, so bring your tackle and pole with you. As long as you're fishing from the shore or pier inside of a state park, no fishing license is required. But if you're fishing from a boat, you'll definitely need a license. The park has a really nice enclosed fish cleaning area. No need to worry about the birds harassing you. Lake Livingston is known for its white bass population, but you'll also find catfish, crappie, and perch. This trip, we were in the Hercules Loop. The bathhouse was nearby, but not too close. 
I don't have any video of it because every time I went there was someone else using the facilities and I didn't want to try to video with someone else in the bathroom. They were typical campground facilities, nicely kept, but they've definitely been there for a while if you know what I mean. The sites were nice and level with concrete pads, picnic tables, and grills or fire rings. Since the county was under a burn ban due to the drought, there weren't any campfires going this weekend. There is lots of shade thanks to the huge trees on this side of the campground. Be sure to check the photos of your site before you book because some sites that were on the lakefront on the other side didn't have any trees or any shade at all. If you're in the Hercules loop, you'll have plenty of shade, so that's not something you have to worry about. But here is a Texas tip for you. If you're there in the summertime and you want your RV's air conditioning to survive the Texas heat, even when it gets up over 100 degrees, you definitely want to help it out with some shade. Overall, we loved our stay at Lake Livingston State Park, and we will definitely back for a longer and hopefully cooler stay in the future.